um, in Moraga Hills from Shreveport, Louisiana. And we're going to get ready to bring Miss Mariah. Miss Mariah. We gonna bring her on. We gonna bring her on. Miss Mariah. Hello. Girl, that's when you know you gotta get that ugly face. <laughs> you already know. Look, as soon as I got on this, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's the vibe. Yes. Yes, I need it. I needed my neo soul. Mm. Ain't nothing like a good neo soul on a good Ooh. afternoon. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so spectacular to have you in the building. Um, oh you know, shout out, I have to shout out Raphael. Um, he is dope. I love him to pieces. Love him. He makes happen he makes it happen and so let me take look i had to take the charge out so i can get you a good angle there there you go, there you go. <laughs> hey here we go period yes okay so mariah helen from shreveport louisiana you have a single coming out material girl i want to do it backwards let's talk about material girl what what is it all about Oh my goodness, that's a great question. So, oh, God has given me the opportunity to be able to write about shared and lived experiences. So, everything that I write <laughs> is something that I've gone through. And I hope that my testimony uh, serves to help someone that is going through maybe something that I've gone through in the present time. So, Material okay. Girl was uh, written in a perspective of myself. Uh, should I let material things be the forefront and the forefront? Uh, forefront of a relationship things that you can buy like you know we love if somebody go get us some shoes and go get us you know a little handbag or something like that but is Absolutely. that gonna heal me is that gonna edify me i don't think so mm -hmm. i'm gonna get excited mm -hmm. about it for a good maybe three days and then after that i'm going to be running after the things that i do want which is time attention love affection mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. when i realized that this is what i really wanted in a relationship and that i would not become complacent in a relationship then i realized who i was and what i should deter from wow so as you were preparing this piece because you know when i was listening and i was reading and i was okay hold up and i gotta say something <laughs> shout out to all the spectacular ladies of zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. I always have to do that. I have a lot of close friends who are Zeta. Yeah. You know, Zeta. Zeta. Put that T in there for you. T. I got the T. T. Yes, ma'am. I put that T in there for you. I got that T for you. I Thank got you the so T for you. Yes. But I definitely, you know, want to throw that out there. But you're a nurse. I am. So let's talk about that because you have this calm, soothing, sweet spirit. So I know that translates, you know, into work, your community and your work. But how does that work for you being an independent creative? Well, so the good thing about um, where I work, I work locally as an NICU nurse. And for those that don't know yeah. what NICU nurse is, it's neonatal, neonatal intensive, intensive care. Period. Neonatal intensive care. So we're working with the premature babies to the very chronic, stable, unstable type of babies. And uh, my boss has just been so loving and so kind to me and has let me kind of switch around my dates when need be. I work nights primarily. So there have been okay. days where I will work my 12, 13 hours all night. I will change clothes and get ready for six all day. I'll yes. take maybe 45 minute nap and do it all over again. But you know, when you, you do what you love every day, you don't think it's a job. And so that's it. Period. And that's Man. you know, I just love the opportunity to be able to serve in both music mm -hmm. capacities and in the medical realm as well at the same time. It's a joy service service you know service is a topic i had a conversation about service today and i said one of the things i think we, we servant leaders have to do is we have to stop serving the people that want 
and serve the people that need. Yes. And your music serves the people that need. You know, your music serves the people that have a need to understand that that tangible thing that everybody wants is not necessarily the best thing for you. Exactly. Exactly. Whew. Okay. You're going to make me start How shouting. Get to this journey? Oh, I already know because you started singing in the church. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Glory, yes, we can we can take it there. See, everybody can't take it there. We can take it there. We can though. do it all day and all night. Yes, we can. What are some of the challenges that you have faced and that you anticipate facing on this journey? Well, sometimes it's very easy to try to fall into the realm of trends because when people see trends, they see numbers. And sometimes we kind of take away the artistry in music and we look more so towards the numerical data and you know there's a lot of things that the that the god i serve can do um things that i have seen from years and years past resurface and resurfaces like never before so what i've been trying to do and take a different approach as of uh, this year is to stop looking at the numerical data I'm going to do what God calls me to do, and I'm not going to focus on he say, she say, because it's so easy to be like, oh, well, I didn't get that, you know, that certain amount of likes and the certain amount of views that I thought that I should have gotten. So let me go ahead and take the post down. Oh, no, ma'am, we're not doing that anymore, because I feel like, you know, if I was led to do it, then it's going to bear fruit. And so that's what I'm learning. Also, something else that I'm learning is to stop and smell the roses. It's so hard sometimes because you see a finish line, you become fixated on that finish line, and you just forget about the journey and where you are in the moment. And it's just so important to just stop, breathe, and be like, girl, look what God has done for you today. Let's give praise for what's happening now. And so I'm starting to be even the more so grateful every day. Guys, if you're just checking in, this is Mariah, okay? <laughs> Mariah is a hometown girl straight out of Shreveport, Louisiana, who truly loves who she is and definitely whose she is. And, and, and I think what I love is that you are able to be so vocal about who you are, but more importantly about whose you are. And people fear that. People fear when you really know who you are because a lot of people capitalize in this industry. People capitalize on those that have not a clue who they are. Yes. And once they find out you know who you are, they don't necessarily want to work with you or it's harder. What are some of the things that you do, though, to make sure that you're always covered before you even step into the arena? Mm. Now, that's a question. <laughs> That is a question. <laughs> I well, know I had to, but you know I can't ask everybody that because they don't understand covered. They'll be like, oh, I'll go get a blanket or a jacket. No, no, no. <laughs> I understand the question that you're asking. And the question is in terms of spirituality. So I there make sure that I am covered with the whole armor, not not just, you know, a shoe here and a sock there. I'm talking about the whole armor of God. I stay prayed up. Because yes, yes. as soon as the devil sees an opportunity, he's going to take that opportunity. And so Absolutely. making sure that I am steadfast in my faith, making sure that I am hearing the call of God and making sure that, that the door that's presented to me is a door that God ordained. Because a lot of times we as artists and, you know, we get so excited, we don't understand that every door that opens for you, you're not it's meant to not go through. <laughs> You're not meant to go through that door. And I've had to learn that time and time again because we just, we just so hungry. Oh, I, I just want to sing. I just want to get out there. No, ma'am. You have to figure out yeah. who you are, whose you are. And then when you realize that, then you know how to enter into certain arenas. And once you got that, that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, if you have not already, I need you to stream material girl it's available on all streaming platforms right now mariah what else can we expect from you in the days weeks and months to come 
Ooh, all I can tell you is that the best is yet to come. Child, that that, that so sounds like one of them old records I had. <laughs> Look, you got to bring it back for the people. Just one more time. The best is yet to come. There is some yes. music that's coming. There are some opportunities that are presenting itself. And I am just so, so, so grateful for the opportunity to be able to mm -hmm. take part in mm -hmm. this. You know, I just want people to realize out there. Of course, follow me on my journey at My Name is Mariah. Um, but I want people to realize that I don't seek to be idolized you know i want people to see the god in me and not just see me and you know it's always a blessing for those to be a part of my journey and see that yeah. but i mean i realize that when i'm making this music it's just not for me it's not for my therapy it's for that's others right. as well that's and that's it. what i want people to see Oh, God, it's the God in her. You already heard it. She got it. She got it. And one thing about it, she is proud of it. So, Mariah, what words of wisdom, though, would mm -hmm. you give to individuals that are scared to profess who they are and whose they are? You know what? It's a process. Um, and it's a process that I was scared in taking part myself. Because okay. what you see before you was not the same me two, three years ago. I was that hungry artist that wanted to run through every door that opened myself. So I'm not speaking in terms of just to make it sound good. I'm speaking in terms of experience. It takes time, but it takes commitment. Once you become committed to yourself and you really want to dive deep into who you are, into the inner recesses of your very being, when I tell you, it is a beautiful story that unfolds every day. I'm telling you, it is a beautiful story. And once you take time, because I like to say all the time that we are a popcorn generation, we just, th 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 we don't That's take it. time That's for it. anything. But it's so very important with the days that you don't know you have to take the time to seek and find and get to know yourself a little bit more it's okay to dig it really is there's a lot of parts of myself that i did not know that with the time that it took i realized who i was and i'm so grateful that i spent quality time with myself mm. sit in it yes and in order to sit with yourself you have to know yourself because if you sit with yourself and don't know yourself disaster is sure to come yes wow guys this is mariah i need you to make sure you go and follow her at underscore my name is mariah underscore but guys don't just follow her let's run it up material girl is streaming now on all platforms Let's run it up. Let everybody know where they can find your music as well. YouTube and things of that nature. Oh my goodness, guys. So it's on YouTube. It's on Spotify. It is on Amazon Music, Apple Music, Google Play, anywhere that you have the an app, it's on there, beloved. So just go ahead and take the time to sit there and listen and unfold and enjoy. I just want my music to let you relax and enjoy. That is the purpose of this in the first place. Yes. So y'all go ahead, stream it up, y'all. <laughs> Guys, it's always wonderful to meet another child of the king that does not mind voicing who she is and who she is. But guys, this is Mariah. My name is Mariah. Let's run up material girl now. She's yes. streaming on all yes. platforms. Mariah, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Instagram live version of It's Consulting Time. And I look forward to working with you in the future. Peace and love, darling. Peace and love. Peace love and you. Love, love. love you back. <laughs> All right, everybody. Don't forget, run it up, material girl. She's super duper dope. Make sure you tap in with my name is Mar Mariah. Make sure you also follow your girl Lily May at Lily May the Collective. And let's partner and make things happen in 2022. Have a great evening.